Hi, this is Jyoti from BIMS. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you some techniques about how to publish all the layouts. And for this, I took an example. Over here, you can see we have the list of drawings. And in this case, you can see these are the actual file names. So I can show you over here. This is how the published files each and every file is not having the name as ground floor or first floor just having a unique code based on the project and the discipline and over here you can see these starts with one and then there are some with two and three four six seven it goes and over here you can see enlarged floor plans starts with one 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 and architectural space is one six and acoustic zone one seven and here you can see elevation starts with 200 building section starts with 300 and it goes on so now I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing with Archicad where you can publish the drawings with this number and you can link it to the you can produce a drawing sheet like this which explains what is the file name and what is the floor it belongs to or what is the drawing name so for this I have taken a simple example over here here you can see this is ground floor and the first floor the roof level and just a quick look of the 3d view and now in the view map this is the default template where you can see uh, in Archicad we have floor plans as a view, ceiling plans, structural plans sections, elevation all are set now if you check the view a layout book by default there were layouts I removed those layouts now I'm going to create new layouts to show this process I'm opening the organizer so before I create the layout now I'm selecting I want to create layout for all these things floor plans, ceiling plans, structural plans or I can select only few on the right side I choose the layout publishing which is the layout book header and then I say place drawing in this case it automatically creates four new folders based on the view clones and then it places each and every drawing in, in a separate layout inside the folders now you can see over here and we know the structure starts with basement ground first and roof when we are producing the drawings the lowest level comes in the first so Archicad automatically creates the layout by placing the basement at the top and it numbers the others later and now when you publish this as a PDF with this publishing sets it will publish this as the name of the file but we don't want to use this as a file name instead we want to give a sequence number which will be the file name and then we have a drawing list which will show what is the drawing number referring to for this I'm going back to this layout so now you can see by default it's floor plan this ID is fine but we don't want to use this sequence so I'm selecting the floor plans and going to the settings so here I'm going to play some trick so it publishes in a sequence the first thing is I don't want to use I want to use the prefix I don't want to use this prefix but this prefix is going to be some sequence for example I can just take from this one over here I just copy the sequence and go to my Archicad and paste but I don't want to use the same sequence here everything is fine A for architecture and these are the tender drawing and, and some codes now this folder which I have selected now it's a floor plans so I want to have the code as FP for floor plans and then it should start with sequence and then it should have three digits over here and the first should start with one zero zero or one zero one so then it sequence like this and now I 
for the others I just copy this I say okay now it has been sequenced but the thing you should notice is it has the name of the layout so I choose all these layouts and go to the settings and I don't want any layout name I just want a blank space and then say okay now you can see it just as the sequence same I'm going to repeat for this go to the settings by selecting the folder in the folder we need to give the sequence and change for ceiling plans I want to start with v201 and here I gave the code as CP for ceiling plans and then again I select all the layouts and the name of the layout should be empty so you cannot delete the name there should be some name so I'm giving just a space and then again same structural plans select the folder go to the settings here instead of A I'm going to give this S for structure and then the structure should start with for example 3 or maybe 4 or even in case of structure this is 1 so I can say it is starting with 101 and I just choose these layouts layout settings I'm giving space as empty That's right and now last one for the elevations <coughs> and they should be 301 so here you can see 101 201 and this is elevation 301 so now I have renamed all these layouts so it goes in a sequence now for example here you can see A02 if you don't want this again it's just the folder settings I can select all these folders and say that the ID is custom so it won't have any ID in front of this one just have floor plans and this one there is no ID for, for this next if I go to the publisher you can see all the layouts now going to be published like this in each and every folder and with a drawing name and I have created a sheet index over here you can see this sheet index is showing actually the folder name which is the subset name over here floor plan ceiling plan structural plans and the drawing number which is that if you publish the drawing this will be the file names and the title drawing title which is a row for elevation or section and then the scale of the drawing and now I'm going to publish all this as a PDF but before publish I'm going to uncheck this merge to one PDF so it creates each and every layers in a separate drawing and then I'm going to publish I'm going to set the publishing properties create real folder I'm choosing the desktop and then say publish and now you can see this message which is showing the exclamatory symbol this is because as you know in the layout instead we don't want to have any name I gave the space but Archicad when it publishes it removes the space and gives the name without the spaces so that's the reason for this exclamatory symbol so it's good for us that when the drawing has been published so I go to the desktop I choose this layout publishing so now here you can see 
we have folders elevations and all the drawings elevation drawings are published in a sequence sailing plans a sequence then floor plans and then structural plans and the sequence thank you for watching this tutorial